Avram, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very serious breaking news coming out of the east, uh, uh, right around North Korea. We are getting breaking news that the United States is now sending uh, two more aircraft carriers to the region. It seems like Russia's move on North Korea's border has definitely struck uh, the attention of President Donald Trump, and it looks like he is willing to engage, if necessary, both uh, North Korea and Russia and even China. You're going to be surprised at the news I'm about to share with you this morning. Uh, this is on Russian news right here, RIA.RU. This came out uh, uh, just six hours ago, expert commented on Trump's decision to ship aircraft carriers to Korea. That is in the plural, uh, even in the Russian language there. Moscow, April 17, ITAR, TASS, RIA, Novosti, the decision of the U.S. leadership to send three aircraft carriers to the shores of Korea is dictated by the domestic political motives of President Donald Trump and does not threaten real fighting in the region, believes Alexander Penn, uh, chief researcher at the Institute of the USA and Canada of the Russian Academy of Sciences. So the Russian, uh, this particular um, expert of the, uh, the chief researcher of the Institute of the USA and Canada of the Russian Academy of Sciences, does not believe that they pose a threat. Previously, uh, the Rayon uh, Gahap news agency, referring to a government source in South Korea, reported that the U.S. was sending three aircraft carriers to the Korean shores just the next week. In addition to Carl Vinson, at the beginning of uh, next week in the Sea of Japan will be aircraft carriers Ronald Reagan and the Nimitz, both of these carriers also being shipped over there. Uh, to uh, the Korean waters. Donald Trump has come under intense pressure inside the U.S. and he is now trying to shift his attention from criticism to himself inside the country and from internal uh, failures to external aggr uh, aggressive rhetoric. After his bombing in Syria, his rating in the U.S. rose. Now he thinks he and uh, North Korea will be flooded, said Penrov RIA Novosti. At the same time, uh, in his opinion, it will not come to some serious deed. He called uh, improbable the possible possibility of participation of aircraft carriers in any military operations against the DPRK at the moment. But at the same token, though, North Korea, according to uh, Paul Bagley, who was reporting this morning in his own breaking news there uh, only eight hours ago, that uh, North Korea is stating that nuclear war could break out at any moment. All right, so let's take a little roundup of what's going on. Let's back up just a few days here, and let's look at what we were sharing with you earlier. Uh, this was on the Daily Star. Putin moves missiles to North Korea's border as Russia gets ready for war. Now, this actually was first reported by uh, Lorenzo and already happened on his news agency there. Uh, he is an independent investigative journalist. I believe he's an Italian journalist, but he had actually picked up the information uh, himself and was sharing the move of Russian troops and missiles down to North Korea's border. Uh, video footage appeared to show Russian military uh, forces being moved on a mass to the border with North Korea as the world edges closer to World War III. Now that video has already jumped over while I was in the process of uh, checking other news at the time, so I apologize it's not in front of me at this moment. Anyway, Russia has reportedly moved weapons toward uh, Vladivostok uh, just eight miles from the border with North Korea. So that could be the reason why there is a heightened tension with the United States and the movement of two more aircraft carriers to the region, maybe one for uh, North Korea, one for China, and one for Russia. Now you might think, well, China's on board with the United States. Well, not so fast. Let's look at some other things here that have been breaking here in the last couple of days. China and Russia dispatch ships to shadow Donald Trump's armada as it approaches North Korean waters. Japanese media reported. All right, now the Telegraph is the one that we picked this up on, but the Japanese media had already reported. And you remember how that I spoke about the 150,000 uh, soldiers that were moved to the uh, North Korean border just recently. Some have stated that, well, that was just fake news. Well, it's not so fake news in many other uh, news organizations, including this one here in the Russian language. And in fact, let me let you uh, see the translation of what the article states here. I'll first show you the article right here. 
just this little section here. Watch what this actually translates out to be. This was reported by the intelligence of South Korea. The Mongolian media reported that movement of 150,000 soldiers, by the way, and it was moved in two different waves says, while the catalyst for the fall of the market remains unclear, there have been reports of new sanctions against Russia, uh, against Russia and reports of China's deployment of 150,000 soldiers on its border with North Korea. According to the North Korean, uh, excuse me, according to the Korean news agency, Joseon, the Chinese army, sent about 150,000 soldiers to the border of North Korea and two groups to prepare for unseen circumstances. Now, here's what they say in that next paragraph. This happened right after the meeting of U.S. President Donald Trump with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The reason is the call of a preemptive military operation. For example, preemptive strikes against North Korea similar to the Syrian missile attack by the United States. Does that mean that the Chinese are willing to try to intercept some of those missiles coming in from the United States on North Korea? It seems to be what it actually implies. And of course, we also saw uh, from uh, Lorenzo on his website there, he was sharing with us actually the S, uh, S-300 Russian air defense missile system being shipped there to the border of North Korea there in a uh, posture for defending North Korea from any kind of incoming missiles. Now, yes, it is true that President Xi, the Chinese president, is working with Donald Trump on a sanctions basis to try to get North Korea to stop its nuclear program. But they're not willing to allow just a, an annihilation of North Korea. It's the same token. We've always stated that North Korea has really put itself in a precarious uh, uh, situation there with uh, the United States with the, of course, building of nuclear weapons and the threat of using those nuclear weapons. So it is a very awkward situation nonetheless, but it does seem that both China and Russia are willing to protect North Korea if it comes under attack by the United States. At least the military movement seems to suggest that just that. And it also seems like that President Donald Trump is also taking into account that yes, they're willing to take on also the United States if that were to happen. R-I-A-R-U, as we stated here, uh, uh, sending all these extra aircraft carriers to the region to be able to confront, uh, this looks like even Russia and uh, China as well, if that deems to be necessary. Again, I believe that President Trump is meaning well the best he can from what he can do, but I cannot help but think that the military industrial complex is the one calling the shots, and they've been wanting to do a war with Russia for quite some time, and that time is about to near. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and you cannot help but remember Daniel 1144, trouble out of the east, or tidings out of the east and out of the north, cause him a great concern, and he goes to make away many. That's not President Donald Trump either, friends. I hate to tell you that, but I don't think that's him. That happens to be those leaders, the elite leaders that are running the industrial military complex that have always wanted a new world order, ran by none other than the Vatican, pushing for a new world order, one world religion, and they're about to make sure that their dream comes to pass. And of course, don't forget, the Middle East is in part of that plan. I'm Stephen Benut with Israeli News Live. Shalom.